Hello, my name is Sydney Durant, and I'm a programmer, Georgia Tech student, and Touch Plus contributor. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out my blog at sydneydurant.blogspot.com. I'm here today on behalf of Game Dev Touch to explain goal-based pathfinding. As you can see right now on the screen, I have over 20,000 particles, all simultaneously pathfinding towards my mouse cursor in the upper left corner of the screen. With traditional pathfinding, this would be impossible, but goal-based pathfinding is extremely efficient. Traditional pathfinding works by finding the optimal path from every single pathfinder to the goal. This is inefficient, especially if many pathfinders are calculating similar paths. Goal-based pathfinding works differently, though. It finds the shortest path from the goal to every single tile on the map, and then the particles simply refer to the tile they are on to determine the direction they need to go in to get closer to the goal. There are three steps to implementing goal-based pathfinding. The first is to calculate a distance field, which can be seen here. As you can see, the goal has a distance of zero from itself, and the distances increase as you get further away from the goal. It is important to note that the distances calculated are path distances and not linear distances. So even though this area right here is closer to the goal than this area over here, it is considered further away in path distance because pathfinders will have to circumnavigate obstacles to get to it. <clears throat> the second step of goal-based pathfinding is to calculate a vector field, which can be seen here. The vector field simply looks at the distance field to determine what direction pathfinders much must go in to get closer to the goal. The vector field looks at the gradient of the distance field and always points towards the lower numbers. The third part of goal-based pathfinding is the pathfinder movement itself. Here the particles are simply accelerating in the direction indicated by the vector field. More complicated movement behaviors can be used though. For example, steering behaviors can easily be implemented with goal-based pathfinding. Goal-based pathfinding is a flexible and efficient approach to pathfinding, especially in situations where pathfinders are recalculating the same paths over and over again. It is not always the best kind of pathfinding to use, though. It is inefficient with large maps, and if there are many, many goals, it can cause a lot of CPU strain. It is often a very good solution to the pathfinding problem, especially with large numbers of particles, small maps, and fewer goals. I hope you enjoyed the demo, and if you would like to read the full article that explains how to implement goal-based pathfinding in much more detail, there is a link in the video description. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.